And what you want to do first is always look at your denominators and see which ones can first be factorized. So what you should identify is that this over here is a difference of square. And so we know that that should be 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 3. That's just your difference of squares. Now we've got some nice denominators. We've got this one and this one, which are exactly the same. You might be saying, Kevin, they're not the same. We need to switch them. But guys, remember that when you plus, for example, 5 plus 3 is 8 and 3 plus 5 is 8, the order doesn't matter. If it was a minus, then we would have to be careful. So those two are actually the same. Then we've got a 2x minus 3 and a 2x minus 3, so those are the same. So our lowest common denominator is just going to be 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 3. So this one here already has everything. This one, literally that one, <laughs> is going to need both of the denominators. This one is going to need the 2x plus 3 and this one is going to need the 3 plus 2x. I mean the 2x minus 3. And so guys, if you look carefully, I've gone and added everything that needs to be added. So for example, this one didn't have a 2x minus 3, so I multiplied it with a 2x minus 3, top and bottom. This one didn't have a 2x plus 3, so I did it there. This one didn't have any of them, and then this one had both. Okay, so if you have to pause the video right now, do that. Make sure you understand what I've done. Please, guys, make sure you know exactly what I've done. Okay, now... All of the denominators are the same, so we can ignore them. So now what we have is x, 2x minus 3, plus x, 2x plus 3. Notice I'm not multiplying anything out just yet. I'm doing it very stepwise in order to avoid having to make silly little mistakes. There we go. Now I can multiply the x in here, so that's going to be 2x squared minus 3x plus 2x squared plus 3x. Now here is where a lot of students make mistakes. You've got to be careful here. There is one, two, three things. So what I would do if I was you is leave the minus one alone. And trust me, guys, this is where the people make the mistakes. You say minus one, and then you multiply these two brackets together. Like that. And then in the next step, we can put the minus one in. Don't try to do it all in one step. So that's going to give us 2x squared minus 3x plus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4x squared minus 6x plus 6x plus 9 equals to 5x. Okay, so now we can simplify a little bit. So what happens here is that these x squares actually cancel because 2 plus 2 is 4 and then minus 4. And then these x's cancel. And then these cancel. My goodness, so we actually just end up with 9 is equal to 5x. And so x is going to be equal to 9 over 5. And that is our only answer. But something I forgot to do in the beginning was to look at the different restrictions. Now remember, a restriction is where your denominator is not allowed to be 0. So the restrictions that we should have had here was that 3 plus 2x should not equal 0. And also 2x minus 3 must not equal zero. I don't have to worry about this one because that one is actually this over here and we are already taking care of it with these two. So if I have to quickly go solve for x now, it would be 2x equals to minus 3 and so x would equal to negative 3 over 2. So x is not allowed to be minus 3 over 2 and then for this one you would find that x is not allowed to be 3 over 2. So what that means is we should quickly go to our answer that we got Oh, okay, good. So luckily, this answer is not equal to any of the restrictions, and so we are okay. We don't have any problems happening here. And so the final answer is 9 over 5.